For me, it's about the law and people. I just need facts, okay? Yeah, okay? Just facts. And how people can resolve their problems and just be better for it. Justice with passion. I always knew I was going to go into law because I tried to see everybody's point of view in an argument. And I encouraged people to talk to each other to try to resolve their problems. Justice with truth. Do not waste your time and do not waste mine. This is Justice for All with Judge Christina Perez. Reagan Lewis is suing Holly Solis in the amount of $3,000. Ms. Lewis claims Ms. Solis wrote a hit piece about her in a blog and says now she can't get a job. Ladies, good morning. Good morning. Ms. Lewis, you are suing the defendant Ms. Solis for $3,000? That's correct, Your Honor. Uh, and this stems from a defamation of character claim? Yes, Your Honor. So. Holly is my ex-best friend, former best friend, and she completely defamed my character by putting up a blog post with completely malicious, mean, slanderous information about me, and it got picked up by our local paper. We're from the same small town in Nevada, so our local paper picked up her blog post, re uh, reposted it and because of that newspaper article everyone in our small town has read this terrible fake news blog post that what she wrote. What did it say about you? So the title of it, Your Honor, is Can't Tame Crazy. It's all about her personal vendettas against me. It's filled with false information, things I didn't do. And it even ends with, it's no wonder that me, Reagan, can't find a job and can't find a boyfriend. I'm trying to improve myself, Your Honor. So I'm taking classes in marketing. I recently moved back to our hometown after we went to college different places. And I moved to Vegas with my boyfriend at the time. Mm -hmm. Then I broke up with him, just kind of wasting my time. So I. Holly asked me to move back to our hometown, which I did, but because of this article, I haven't been able to find anything. Do you have a side to your story? Absolutely. It's not defamation because it's true. Everything that I wrote in there, and by the way, I took the article down afterwards, so I don't know how it's ruining her reputation. The reputation that she has, she's had since high school. You mean your blog post? Or? Yeah, my blog post. The, okay. re the reason that the she wanted forever. me to take it. But she, because the newspaper picked it up, because it was interesting. Everybody knows us. We all went to high school here. Uh -huh. And she's just trying to get back at me because I unfortunately accidentally slept with one of her ex-boyfriends. I had no idea that it right. was her ex-boyfriend. She's been doing this our whole life. Ex. She has just been gatekeeping any guy that she's interested in, and she left town. Gate, he gate, stayed. Gate, 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 gatekeeping? Yes, she's just blocking new, me from is being able. Is that a new word that I'm not aware of? I mean, is that a new phrase? Gate yeah, it's like news. It's like new slang. We use it in Vegas a lot. Like, like I fake moved to news. Vegas a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Like gatekeeping. Yeah, yeah the, she's just preventing learn something me. Something new every day. <laughs> There's a very small pool of men in this town that I can be dating, and I wouldn't go after somebody specifically because she dated them. We were friends in high school since 10th grade, yeah, and I, I stuck by her, even though everyone in our small town was saying she's skanky, she sleeps <sighs> with her friends' boyfriends, she flirts with other friends' boyfriends, but I stuck by her. And now they know false news, thanks to her false, false blog news. post. False yeah, like blog. fake news about me. Okay. Well, she if she'd been a real friend I'm... and actually told me that she liked this guy, I wouldn't have gone anywhere near him. Now she's just trying to get back at me. This suit is not about what I wrote. It's about the fact that she can't handle that I slept with this man that she loved. But you know what? She is crazy because he told me he had to block her number and then she got I mean, another phone not and continued to call him. Is that true? Came back to town, <laughs> this is not sat true. outside of his apartment. This, this is yeah. not true. And it has He's nothing not to, to do either of us with anymore. the article anyway. This has nothing to do with the article anyway. So, <laughs> so Ashton, my ex, I, Holly met Ashton because when we were on a video chat one time, my friend Chad from Horseback Riding Camp was on the video chat with me. So Chad introduced Holly to my ex Ashton. All right, so let's, uh, while this has been interesting, I still haven't heard any type of um, 
defamation, uh, any type of um, how you suffered harm, whether or not these statements were true or not. Well, let's start on your blog. Is your mm -hmm. blog on a website? Is I it have my own website, or my own hosting, and yeah. I have. Is that what you do for a living? You blog. Yes. You're a blogger. Yes. That's how you make your money. Yes. Do you write primarily about your life experiences? Yes. It's about all about in your it, life. It's all about me. It's all about my dating mm. life, my friends, things that, you know, kind of some beauty Former posts friends. and things mm -hmm. that, you know, products that I like to use. But most of the posts that are the most popular are the ones that are about my personal life. Of course. And then, People always want to know everybody's dirty laundry, right? <sighs> yeah, it is. It is, Erin. It is dirty laundry. Coming up on Justice for All. Defamation of character, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's a false and defamatory statement about you. Yes. What's false here? First of all, I'm not crazy. She's not a doctor. She can't. Okay, but that's an opinion. And later. They, they won't break. They're, they're guaranteed against that. Because if then she would have used. Why did you install Because okay. you, you asked me to. You oh, said that's what I you wanted. You so to. I'm going to say, no, don't, don't install option. it. You never gave me I an gave option. I gave you an option. The, the packet is right but there. But it's in the estimate. Closed captioning provided by. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. You're watching Justice For All with Judge Christina Perez. We're back with the case of Reagan Lewis, who is suing Holly Solis for $3,000. And I actually have a copy of the article okay. here, and Can it's give much worse. Cinder, sure, here you go. Cinder, mm -hmm. your you. evidence, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you wrote, we've been friends since high school, and I fear this has come to an end. Reagan had gone absolutely, has gone absolutely insane. She flushed our friendship down the toilet, treating me like the poop circling, like poop circling the ivory throne. She Nobody sits does. alone. <sighs> Looking back, I'm realizing that I should have seen the warning signs. This girl out is out here burning bridges. She doesn't care who she hurts in the process. Blah, 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 come to think of it, Reagan is crazy, always was. Reagan's crazy, always was, looking beneath, the crazy was always looking beneath her surface. Wait, this um, is terrible. You shouldn't just be able to no say. It is no wonder things didn't work out with any man she's ever been with or any job she's ever worked for at all. Defamation of character, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's a false and defamatory statement about you. Yes. What's false here? First of all, I'm not crazy. She's not a doctor. She can't. Okay, but that's an opinion. I called Cinder crazy, Cinder crazy the other day because she was just laughing hysterically at the <laughs> dumbest thing. I'm like, you're crazy. But does that mean I'm calling her crazy? Right. No. And what else? What, other, what is it false? Is it false that you've been friends since high school? That is technically true. true. Well, is it false that you threw the, the friendship down the toilet? And I, I, won't, I wouldn't put it that way at all. But did you, all. did I, you end the friendship, the breakup? I responsibly ended the friendship okay, after so the betrayed girl Okay, uh, so that's true. Looking back, I should have known the warning signs. So that's all an opinion. She's burning bridges. Are you burning bridges? I, uh, anybody else in the small town that you burn a bridge with? Every single person she's ever dated and everybody from our high school friend group saved for me because I stuck around. Because Do you have any other friends in the small town except for Miss Solis? Well, like there's my neighbor, you know, I'm friends with her, I like watch her dog. No, okay, so that's mm -hmm. no. Okay. Um, crazy's always been looking beneath the service surface that's an opinion albeit very colorful language an opinion in yeah. high school she thought she could call shotgun on every guy she when we met so that's that's not true she's at all she's delusional still true that's uh, it, because i think a guy's cute and they say oh i think i'm going to talk to him and i think uh -huh. you know maybe so then that's true what she said i don't uh, calling shotgun i mean that's she just uses these highfalutin words no, to no 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 but, but how, but how is that like no, because how you would make anybody's life hell who ever tried to get where you wanted to be. This she TP'd our teacher's car for failing her. She has started a bunch of rumors about all of our friends, which is why untrue rumors, Nobody's mind you. Everything her. I wrote was true. Well, I, I gave you the benefit <sighs> of the doubt, Holly. When everyone was saying that you went from skinky to more skinky, I stuck by you. And then you That's kind of defamatory. This. Mm, yeah, that's that's really defamatory, actually. Well, it's actually perfect under the definition of de defamation of character well, because you're imputing her character as being a loose woman. Did well, she ever sue you for that? Well, 
No, I mean, but I didn't put it on the internet and I hope people give me likes and thumbs I up. Took it down. I took it down the now. second that I heard there was an issue with it because I don't want to get involved in more of your drama. But you know, but you just called her a very loose woman in front of me, in front of Cinder, in front of this audience, in front of court. Well, I mean... I mean, that's, that's pretty... I don't want to say if the shoe fits, wear it, but I mean... What proof do you have? How do you think that's going to hurt her afterwards? People are going to see this on the television, and what do you think they're going to say? Oh, Holly is a slut? Well, I mean, I don't think anybody's going to believe the messenger, okay? Thank you. Honestly. Her. But do you think that could hurt her? Tell me one thing that is not true. That, that she can't believe that I've never held down a job or had a guy, because I, I think that you did believe in When's the last, time you, a, when's the last me, time you had a job? Well, I had I had a marketing internship in Vegas, and okay. then I, I moved back Did here. you find a job before coming to your small town? No, I, I was going to move and then look for a job. So that's why this article is terrible timing, because as I was trying to build myself up, get my career back, it just completely ruined my chances. Like, I took additional marketing classes. The even, only reason I wrote I that knew. article was because you <laughs> broke up our friendship because of something that I didn't even know. All right, based on the evidence, uh, this court will rule in favor of the defendant and deny the plaintiff's claim of $3,000, as I find that there was no defamation of character. Uh, it was merely a very frustrated, kind of emotional, very sad story of a really good friend she had that went a little crazy yeah. and decided to choose other less relevant things in life over a friendship, okay? okay? So, based on the evidence, Ms. Lewis, I will deny your claim. Judge Perez has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim has been denied. I just can't believe it turned out this way, Holly. I don't, I can't believe you'd say these things about me online, and I just don't know if we can ever go back to the way things used to be. I just feel really sad right now, Holly. I think if you can get your life together and you want to come back and be friends, I think that we need some serious time, but I think that the ruling shows like what I said was my opinion. I have the right to my opinion. However, in the future, if you want to be friends, I'll consider not writing about your mental state. Coming up on Justice For All. I was in the kitchen, I was having lunch. Um, luckily, I was home alone. When I just heard this big, huge, loud mm -hmm. crash. Closed captioning provided by. You're watching Justice For All with Judge Christina Perez. Elena Newhall is suing John Logan in the amount of $3,600. Ms. Newhall claims all she wanted were new solar panels and says the defendant did such a bad job installing them, she needs a new roof now too. Okay, Mr. Logan, uh, you are in the business of solar panels. Yes, I am, Your Honor. I've been installing solar panels for over 15 years. Oh, that's a long time. Yes, I've done commercial and residential properties. Miss Newell called me up mm -hmm. for an evaluation of her property for solar panels. Home, a home? Yes, her okay. home, yes, for solar panels. I came out, I evaluated her property, and as a good businessman and, you know, I'm, I'm supposed to inform her of all the necessary accessories of course, that are after. required for the property. And for her property location, I recommended a higher priced brand of snow guards okay. because of the heavy snow in Denver. What went wrong? Okay, what went wrong was, I can show you, when I um, offered the solar panels to Ms. Newall, mm -hmm. I told her the different levels of snow guards that you can have. The snow guards are made to prevent the avalanche effect of the snow once it melts. One day, um you know, we got our first day of snow, and of course it was the, the wor like the worst that we've gotten in a long, long time. And I was in the kitchen, I was having lunch, um, luckily I was home alone, when I just heard this big, huge, loud mm -hmm. crash. Coming up. I heard the huge avalanche, I ran out and I saw that the shed was, it wasn't completely down, but it, the items inside were completely dis destroyed. Closed captioning provided by. You're watching Justice For All with Judge Christina Perez. We're back with the case of Elena Newhall, who is suing John Logan for property damage. 
I have a she shed, which is like my space that I keep. It's not like we've never had snow before, so this shed has been there. How long has the shed been there? Um, I want to say at least at least a year. Uh, any bad snow during that year? Not like this. Not Ooh, like this. So this was a bad snow. It was storm. really, really bad. bad snow storm. Did you make sure that it was weatherproof, weather I resistant? I did. I did. Yeah? And same with the solar panels. Um, Miss John told me. Do you have a picture the, of your she shed? I'm sorry. Get a picture. I do. Of the, I do. Okay. Here you give go. it to Cinder. I have so a picture. So it was weatherproof Thank and waterproof, et cetera. Everything. It's been there. It, I had no issues with it. My stuff never, never was ruined. Um, again, I, I heard the huge avalanche. I ran out and I saw that the shed was, it wasn't completely down, but it, the items inside were completely dis destroyed. He never mentioned the levels of snow. He never mentioned, you, you know, Excuse upgrade me. to this one. He, he told me upgrade to the snow guard because I, initially the package did not include the snow guard. No one quoted me the package with the snow guard. No one. Can you please look at different snow guards that are offered? Center, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to explain a little something to you. Um, Is there are many else different. To give to the judge. Um, yes. Also, look at the warranty. This is the equipment is covered. Thank um, you. There are many different types of snow guards. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I showed Miss Newall the different options that you have. Okay, the ones that she was saying that she wanted to get was for an area with little to moderate snow. If you use the high quality ones, you're going to prevent. They, they won't break. They're, they're guaranteed against that. Because if then she why used, did you install? Okay, you, you asked me to. You oh, said that's what I you asked wanted. You so to. someone said, no, gave don't, me don't an install option. it. You never gave me I an option. I gave you an option. The, the packet is right but there. But it's in the estimate. Exactly. Right. It's in I'm there. looking. That was what we there's included. We the added the snow, guards. snow guards. The Alpine snow guard. There's a, a solar snow pad. Exactly. He gave you four options in your estimate, and you chose clamp-on snow guards. That that was your option. Did you read the estimate and read about them? I did read the estimate, and I did, I, I, everything I, I gave you, I read everything, but he did not tell me, he told me that I was There's going actually, to prevent actually, this by purchasing the snow guards, which I did, which initially it, I wasn't then, going then, to purchase. And then, Mr. Logan, you also submitted two more options, which obviously are super pricey, a, some type of snow breaker and some type of fence or something like yes. that. All that should have been included. Judge Perez's verdict when justice for all returns. Promotional consideration provided by. In reviewing the evidence, um, I have cl in a clear evidence of an agreement between you, Ms. Newhall, and Mr. Logan's company to install solar panels. Um, and to also install snow guards, which you elected. Options were given to the customer, aka you, you chose one option. And, and another thing is I'm not quite sure your she shed was 100% good for the outdoor and the cold weather in Colorado. So you have not proved to me that the avalanche effect directly caused the damage of that shed. And I have a feeling that maybe you didn't do all of your homework with Mr. Logan and also your she shed. So based on the evidence, I will deny your claim for $3,600. Good luck. Judge Perez has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim has been denied. The Honorable Judge Perez realized what I knew all along. Miss Newall was too cheap to purchase the optimal equipment needed for her solar panel. Just because you're a single independent woman, you should not be taken advantage of. And I feel that he just took advantage of me and the judge agreed. This has been a production of Entertainment Studios.